Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire Daily Challenge Runs. This is November 2nd, 2018 and we are currently here with our second one for the month. You know, new month, new start, new all of those things. Without further ado, we are playing as the Silent today with Sealed Flight and Kellos. Now, Sealed Deck is fun and Flight is fun. So that should mean that this should be fun. But this is Slayer Spy, and Slayer Spy doesn't give you fun, Slayer Spy makes you work for it. So without further ado, we need to score 1,322 to be top 100 today. I would love to be top 100 after not making top 100 yesterday. It's just a mediocre one yesterday. We won! I mean, that's great. As you can see, one win and zero losses so far. You know, the dream of a month where we never lose a daily is upon us. You know, it's still a, a dream because we still have not lost. Um, pretty high scores. Tells me today's daily shouldn't be too difficult. But yesterday's scores were very high. So we'll have to see how that goes. For now, though... Let's jump in and let's do the daily and uh, let's go. So flight, seal deck, flight, seal deck. Those are what we care about. Careless, I hate it. Let's go embark. Silent, let's do this. Now flight is very interesting. I think it's a, a very, 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 very good card. It's a very good situation. I really enjoy it. This is also interesting. I mean, right off the bat, you see like the most perfect finisher deck you've ever seen, right? Right. So you're kind of like tempted. It's very tempting. You go like... You go like this, you go Dagger Spray, Blade Dance, Blade Dance, Infinite Blades, you go uh, Quick Slash Finisher, and then you've got like all the possible cards to have a very, very strong, very, very good finisher deck, right? But what's the problem with that? The problem is that we have zero defense. We'd have to go something like Blur, and we'd have to go like Deflect, and then we'd have to go like probably dagger spray because dagger spray is pretty good for AOE situations but then we kind of stuck with this deck that has zero defensive plays and only has very scary very dangerous plays I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna do this like I think I can make this work we needed a few more zero costs this year to make this like really strong very interesting let's start the one off just casually it, since we have flight forever we can literally go where everyone win everyone let's start this casually and let's go here for a start let's start on this one see how it goes so this is what the dream is, you do something like this. So you go like, like, Dagger Spray, you go Blade Dance, you go Shiv, you go Shiv, and you go Finisher, which kills that guy, but we still take 7. Hmm. And you finish a will kill this guy. We still take 7. So we still take damage on this first fight, which immediately tells me that there's a flaw in my plan. But this is kind of like, oh man, look at this. Boom. So... Zero costers would be really good. Outmaneuver could be interesting, but I don't think we want it. So zero costers are where we're at right now. Move a card from my deck. I don't want to move a card from my deck. I mean, I just added these cards to the deck. Why would I want to move one? I don't, I don't know. Leave. Uh, shop. No. Monster. No. Question mark. Maybe. Question mark. Loser. Explosive potion. Loser. Blade dance. Lose 97 gold. Loser. Explosive potion, I guess. Get single gold. E. Not good. Uh, let's go here, I guess. Like, it really doesn't matter where I go, no, honestly. So I do, I'm trying to figure out what the best approach is to like use because you kind of want to mitigate damage but you still want to do the finisher place since you kind of built your whole deck around that. You know what, so we need zero costing cards basically. So I'm going to dagger throw and hope we get the block. We did get the block. That's beautiful. We get to pop the block and now we get to do this. So it's not enough to kill in one turn yet. See we need it to be enough to kill in one turn. So these blade dancers have to get upgraded because when once the blade dancers are upgraded we can potentially kill in one turn. And when we can kill in one turn, that's when we get ahead of the curve. And once we get ahead of the curve, that's when we're in a very good place. Like right now, so you didn't get what you wanted. So you'll start with that. You will then pop this. And now Acrobatics will get us the card we want, which is great. Because then we can do this. And then go like this, and like this, and like... No, I misplayed! Big misplay by me. Mistakes. I did all that work for playing, I just didn't make it work properly, so that's a little bit of a mistake. It's okay though, it's not the end of the world. Ba 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 and ba ba. So upgrading finishes super important, upgrading the blade dance is super important. Uh, while late plants could be good, it's a power. Uh, one, two. We can, we can obviously fight three lists because we can just go to whatever list we want to go to, whenever we want to go to it. Let's this one. Lagavool, not really good for me, but. Not completely horrible. So I'm gonna pop this. Pop this. Um, pop this. 
I mean, there's no zero cost in my deck, so... I mean, you, you gotta go off this turn, right? So bump, 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 and, uh... Bump, and bump. I think you have to do that. Like, you gotta go off, because... As I said, you there's no way to ever get ahead of the curve. You know what I'm saying? So, all you can do is just go full damage. It's interesting. It's like, I feel like I've built something, but... The problem is, I'm not entirely sure if it's good or bad. <laughs> That's kind of where the big problem comes in. Like, is it good, is it bad? I don't know. Like, not killing him there is really bad because we're going to take a ton of damage. So, you know, we need to upgrade these cards. These cards have to get upgraded. They're not good enough until they upgrade it. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm, I'm interested in this deck. That's scary, guys. That is very scary. This is great because we can kill you. Pop that. Let's just kill you. Pop uh, this. Let's just kill you. Finish you. Do that. Do that. Beautiful. Keep that. Lovely. <clears throat> so finish has to get upgraded. The what's some colors have to get upgraded? The day dances. We got. So the, we, it comes down to we do have quite a few cards we need to upgrade, which means I need to focus on upgrading these cards as soon as possible. Well. So I'm gonna start by upgrading the blade dance. I think probably the most valuable thing obviously obviously i need hp too so yeah, that's something to keep in mind potion but not really what i need it but it's okay i need to smith again let's smith the other blade dance it's 12 damage for one energy i can skip some elites here to play it slightly safe upgrade to random cards do one hp i'll do it beautiful i didn't upgrade what i wanted to but that's okay we can go to the shop for free zero cost of violence is beautiful and um that's it that's all we want that's all we can get so that's all we want and now we're gonna rest so we skipped like one or two elites on this floor. That's okay. I think it was the right choice. Hexaghost is kind of fine, except we don't really have weekends, so that makes the Hexaghost super scary. I'm gonna lose the gold. I don't want to take damage. So we should upgrade a card here, and I'm gonna choose to upgrade the finisher. But now we could potentially get one shot by the Hexaghost on the second turn. Technically speaking, we could potentially get one shot by the Hexaghost second turn. Now I hate that I didn't get the cards I wanted to get on this first turn, but I'm gonna get on the second turn, so I guess it's kind of okay. Yeah, it's okay. Just let's retain the backflip. I might need the block. Who knows? How much damage do you think? That's a lot of damage. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's a. It's like a lot of damage. But we also do quite a lot of damage. Boom! 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 There's the deflect. I really need that deflect. And you gotta finish that. And that's the. That's the big finish. And now, of, of course, as you can see. The only problem we have right now is that we are one attack pretty much from being dead, which is very scary. Actually, not one attack, quite a few attacks, but we have enough attacks away from being dead that it, it worries me, and I'm not going to lie to you. So we have seven block right now, so obviously I want to go damage, all damage. So you can see there's quite a few flaws here, obviously. Like, there's a couple of things we need to work on, aka our DPS is really strong, but it's not enough. And that's the big thing. So I think you, I mean, like, this is awkward, right? I'm going to start off with the deflect because I think that's important. And then I'm going to use the, the quick slash is better if it is finisher. It did not hit finisher. Hmm. Play the shift. Play the blade dance. Go like this, go like this, go like this. And then I'll play blur because it's going to give me exactly enough block not to take damage. Let's keep the dagger spray as I want the damage. Yeah, I think, like, all my attacks are kind of upgraded, which is really good. So that's obviously not lovely, but uh, where we're lacking, no doubt, is in the... Uh, I'm going to use this hopeful blade dance. Uh, like, we had a very high chance of getting a blade dance. That's why we went for it. I was like, we should get blade dance. Yeah, I don't see us not getting it, and we did get it. So so as you can see, we built a very specific thing. <laughs> it's very specific. Okay, it does a very specific thing, but it's kind of lacking as well in a few departments. And like... I don't want any. I'll take the Dida Dye because the exhaust, I guess, but I don't really want any of those. Eh, but give me Black Star. I'm probably finding a lot of elites on this floor. The champ. Now, he's the problem. Hmm. I might have approached this wrong, and I might have put myself in a very peculiar situation here. We're going to have to see how it goes, but I'm, I'm actually not even a little bit now. Now, I'm actually kind of heavily worried about this run. And that does scare me slightly. I will violence here because I want to draw some cards. That dagger spray is beautiful. So we can kill you. You live, but you do three damage, which is fine. So what we need is a Duvidal and a bunch of curses. 
curses, slash, anything that gives us strength basically and we'll be fine. Like a lot of strength, some, um, this isn't good enough. We need some strength, we need some, uh, I'm gonna go this one, I don't know why. Oh, Jaxi boy, but of course you take the special relic. So you got the strength out of the bat, that's just lovely. Shop, I'm gonna skip the shop for now. I will not take the separation thing, separation thing sucks. Mm, let's go monster. Ooh, very scary monsters. Potentially okay for us, specifically speaking. But also very scary, also very scary. So we'll start off, I mean, eh. Let's go blade on, so we can knock one down. As much as I would have loved, and I would have very, very, very much loved to finish it, someone, that was a beautiful, beautiful opportunity for us to knock two down and get them both very close to death. So he is buffed, who cares? Like, I don't really seem to care too much about that, actually. But like this, tag a spray this, pop one of these, get rid of that. Tag a spray again. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Retain is, I think Retain was a very good addition to the deck. I think it's really doing a lot for us and I'm actually very happy that I decided to go for that. Another backstab is 100%. 100%. Uh, let's go, let's question mark. I like it. Move a card from my deck. Ooh. Interesting. Acrobatics can go. It's actually just not doing anything for the deck. I thought it would, but it ended up not doing anything for the deck. Uh, elite time. Very scary elite time, but we're gonna go. Ooh, very, very scary elite time. I'm gonna sneeze. It's gonna be horrible. We're all gonna die. It was horrible and you all died. I know. I know how you feel, man. It's, it's painful. Okay, so... This is difficult. This is really dumb. This is really difficult. I'm gonna stop the die to die. I think that's the right choice. Into the backstab, into this, into one, two, three. Do I have any zero cost attacks? I do not. So we'll backstab again and we will finish it for 66 damage. I think that's really good. And turn. It was a good turn. I mean, it was very strong, as you saw, clearly. It did good stuff for us. But this is a bad turn. Because instead of summoning like he usually does on this turn every single freaking time. Today was the one time he was like, meh. How about instead of summoning like I do every single time, today I decided to attack for 27 fucking damage. Bottle Tornado. Wallet Plants opening hand is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Riddle holes no deflect, yes, 100%. Okay, so. Monster or upgrade cards? Or call the cards you want to upgrade? Probably deflex. The deflex are probably good. The backstabs aren't really that good. Dada is not really good. Valence is not really that good. Infinite Blades we could upgrade, but I don't think we want to. Um, I don't want to upgrade, so let's go fight an enemy instead. We don't need to waste either, so. It should be fine. This guy's a bomb. I don't know 100% know you guys that much right now. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it for you because I don't think I need to. So we're going to like this one, two, three. Love backstab. Um, look, he's going to. Okay, he's dead. He's actually dead, so we blow it and then we kill him. Wow, how many times do you get to kill that guy off? I mean, just saying. So we definitely have something. I feel like we've got a good deck. Like a really good deck. But I feel like where the fault comes in now, it's a turn one kind of super damage deck and then it falls off. So we do need some kind of uh, win condition here. We don't have a win condition. That's where we, we're a little bit frightened. Please be a good one. Ooh, Book of Stabbing is super scary. Very scary for us. 100% the most scary experience I could experience right now. So I'm gonna back up and pray. It didn't work out, but it's okay. Um I think you blur and then you go for the play dance. You know what we need? We need um the what's it called? We need the oh, this does more damage for the same amount of um energy. We need the I do know this word, I promise you guys. Wow. Oh, we put that into our bottom of the deck. Interesting. That's, I hate it when that happens, but what can you do? We need the... Um, or we Kalkum. We need Kunai and we need Shuriken. That's what we need. We need those cards. Like, we, we need those cards. You guys understand? You don't understand, okay? You don't understand, man! You don't get it. You just don't understand. 
the pain. And I'll block. That's the one hundred percent right place. Block there. Because we can't, we can't just keep tanking damage from these elites. Give me finisher, please. Thank you. I mean, I only had to wait six years for it to happen. But when it did happen, if we had got finisher like one or two turns earlier, we would have been in a glorious place. But the game made me wait the longest possible time to get it. So that pissed me off slightly. I mean, you take another raid dance, right? But I mean, that is well, maybe not even a good idea. Anchor's beautiful. Wasting up, I'm just a little bit worried about max HP a little bit. Uh, don't want any of these. More max HP, let's move along. Is there cause you want to upgrade? First thing. Deflect, yes. Infant blades, no. Um, none of you guys become free. If any of you can free, that would be beautiful. Mm, let's question mark. Let's question mark instead. No, it was this neck. I, I made a critical error. Can I go back in time and change it, please? And the game will be like, no! You need to live with the choices you made. Like, well, I don't want to live with the choices I made. I mean, even if I backflip, I have zero, zero costing cards, so, or attack cards, so I might as well just use this. It does a billion damage, and we didn't kill him, which sucks, but we should kill him next turn regardless of what we draw, unless we only get three costing cards, then we'll be fucked. We didn't, so this is other. Beautiful. Goes to the job, very helpful. And now the backstab, no, another infinite blaze. See, now I'm starting to see how we beat the, the champ. Just infinite blaze for days, boys. Infinite blaze for days. Okay, so we gotta start like this. We gotta go like this, we gotta go like this, we gotta go like that. And we're gonna finish off with the finisher. And we take the zero damage. I mean, that is a lovely, lovely first turn. That's a lovely first turn. Our first turn is amazing. Don't misunderstand. Like, we got that first turn down, man. We understand that first turn. If we get one more energy, that would actually be perfect for this deck. Another deflect? I don't think so. I wanna, I kinda need a shop. So, I'm gonna look for a shop. Ooh. Ooh. You know what card I feel like is just not doing anything in this deck right now? And that's Quick Slash. So, bye, Quick Slash. You're good. Don't get me wrong, but you're not what I need. Oh, this guy's a problem. This guy's actually a problem. Like, for once, I'm not just saying it. He's actually a problem. I was really hoping for, uh, what's it called there? I don't know how much damage I can do like this, but I can try. We're gonna be weakened, which is the big problem. It's, it's a big, it's a really big problem. Because uh, this malleable fucks us big time. We're gonna like this, and we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna pop the block, we're gonna pop the blade dance, we're gonna go blade dance, blade dance, blade dance, and we're gonna go for this because it kills him. Thank goodness. Cloak and dagger is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, I love it. Smithing time. What is, I mean, let's just smith a backflip. It gives me more block, nah. Let's smith a wild plants. Gives me two cards to attain. Could be useful. I don't know if I can beat this guy. I honestly don't know. I don't have any form of vulnerable in the deck. It's kind of where I'm lacking right now. I would have absolutely loved a little bit of vulnerable in this deck. Would have loved any type of uh, thing that gave me multiple stuff. That would have been glorious. Um, dagger spray, I guess. Oh, what is this card? Course explosion. Love it. Get some poison going. It's super slow, but it's poison. And that's good. And we get to play it every now and then. Very unlikely to be played often, but if we play it every occasional time, then I'll be fine. So I could have done like a little bit of finish action there, but I decided against it. Oh, we can retain two cards now, by the way. I just had a way to, uh... Vulnerable, this guy. This would have been the easiest fight ever. Oh, shout out. I'm just taking 20, 20 points to the face right now. That's a lot to take. That's a lot to take. Um, deflect. Shove it up. Shove it up. Um, play violence. I will use the data to get rid of it so long. I'm going to also use the blade dance. Blade dance, blade dance, blade dance. Cloak and dagger, this boy key. Cloak and dagger, cloak and dagger. Beautiful. Let's keep both of them. Move it along. So we have the intangible for the turn where we need to, to do it. A lot in damage. We might intangible well now, depending on what we get. Uh, we'll deflect, we'll deflect, uh, we'll shift, we'll shift. I'm gonna pop the blade dance, I'm gonna blade dance, blade dance, blade dance. I'm gonna pop the backflip, hoping for finisher. We did get finisher, that's beautiful. In the turn, keep the cloak and dagger, keep the blur in the turn. We're taking 16 here, so I was kind of fine with that. I'd rather keep the intangible for a turn where I'm about to die. In all honesty, I just think that's the right way to approach this. So. I'm gonna go for a dagger throw here, hoping for the right card, which I didn't get. Um, this is a cloak and dagger situation, 
and turn. Keep both of these, and if we get this with Finisher, we win. Finisher me, baby. Oh, yeah. Shift, shift, defect, blade dance, shift, shift, shift. Blade dance, shift, shift, shift. And then you finish her for 8 times 8 damage. It's beautiful. So you can see there's definitely something here. It's not amazing is the problem right now. It's just average at best. And that's where the real problem comes in. That we have a deck that's just average. It's just really not perfect. It's just average. Now what cards are kind of just falling off to the wayside here? Well, Die to Die is. Um, so is Dagger Spray. But I mean, I'm going to probably want that AOE soon. Uh, Kite, we definitely don't want. Curling Bow. You know, we can make our way to three shops. We can make that happen. This Curling Bow. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I actually, this is like, this is really not that bad. For curses, this really isn't that bad. That's huge. It's huge. That's kind of okay, I guess. Okay, Time Lord. Oh, Lord, the Time Lord is kind of anti my entire strat. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, we have to think about that. The Time Lord definitely, uh, definitely is not good for my strategy and what I'm going for, obviously. Uh, we don't, we would never want a situation where. We have to uh, obviously go long many many turns. So we need an alternative way to kill the Time Lord really. And Noxious Fumes isn't that way unfortunately. Shop. I want to remove a card but we'll see what else is available. Flash of Steel is pretty good. Card removal is super good. I'm going to get rid of the uh, Doubt because I don't want to ever be weakened. Uh, the Boots. Don't think it's super good. Not good. Not good. Nothing else here jumps at me. Nothing here really jumps at me. I'm fine with this. Let's just move along. Um, question mark me. No, shop me. Divido, you know, it would have been great earlier, but now it's too late. So we're just gonna move the other curses, I think. Uh, give it a decay. I don't care about the wife too much. Still, potions could be, could be beyond important. Uh, pretty much, I just wanted energy, but the game refused to give me any form of energy. It was just a little bit unlucky. Now fight for relic, of course I will. So I'm, 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 I'm kind of very worried about the upcoming fights, obviously. You know, like, I really don't have the win condition, so that worries me. I'm just to 11 time. I'll just kill one off, it's fine. That's fine. We didn't kill two, it's kind of a big problem, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's not great. This is a little bit unfortunate. I feel like we got a little bit unlucky drawing into so much stuff that we can use. I need to get a block here, like it's kind of important. Mm. Play infinite plates, enter and keep both of these. Might get a finish We're gonna take four here, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. Deflect, flash of steel, pop the shiv. Go for the blade dance, go strike, strike, strike. Go for the uh, Backflip. And there's finish up. Oh! I miscalculated. Very, very heavily. And I took... I'm going to take damage for it. A six damage for it. That's, that's bad. I took ten in this fight in total. Really unfortunate. Fossilized Helix is great. None of these. Moving along. Elite time. Obviously. I need to fight every single elite this game has to offer right now. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible first turn, actually. This might be the worst first turn I think I've ever seen. In all honesty. Very sad. Very saddening for me. I'm also about to lose the helix for two damage, and I refuse. I'm not losing. I'm not losing the helix for two damage, game. Forget about it. So this one curse and deck is actually starting to affect us now. I didn't think it would. I thought we'd be fine. In all honesty, I really did. I thought we could squeeze it through and be like, you know what? It's fine. We squeeze it in. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Oh, this is a turn where he's intangible. Then of course, on a turn where he's intangible, I got all the beautiful. All the beautiful attack cards. Just so beautiful. Yeah, that's fine. End turn. Keep finisher and keep daggers to throw. What a turn to not get damage. That's unfortunate. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's go. So we do have the finish out there. And we got the we got everything we need here to go beautiful. Let's become a beautiful deck. Just beautiful things. Like the beautiful stuff. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. We would love a permanent strength upgrade. That would kind of just really take this deck to the next level. 
It's what we're lacking. This is a permanent strength upgrade in all honesty, but this is great. Boot actually would have ironically ended up being really good for us here. I mean, there was no way to know that when we when we passed it up in the boot in the past, but it would have been lovely, absolutely lovely. So we're gonna get the uh, 45 damage blocked by the fossilized helix. So that was really helpful. He will die now regardless of anything, pretty much. So that's beautiful. I don't know how to beat our friend the Time Lord. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, the, the, yeah, the Time Lord, I just really don't know. I, I, I feel like our deck can't beat the Time Lord right now. I'm gonna take three colors cards because I think I need to find uh, very specific cards that are just gonna do really good stuff for me here. And uh, there it is. There it is. Apotheosis. 100% the card we wanted. Um, upgrading cards, up upgrading Apotheosis, I think is a must for us. We definitely have to upgrade it. We want to upgrade Adrenaline as well before we get to the final boss because it might be important. So Apotheosis is very big. Absolutely huge. Kind of, kind of important for our chance at, uh, at just getting through this without having to, to lose too much. 500 HP, is that, is that, is that always been that much HP? Because that feels like, feels like a lot of HP, dude. That feels like a little bit too much HP, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I could have just drawn into some cards here, it's called Finisher, I would have won the one right then and there. This could still happen. It did not happen. If we finish it there, that guy was, that giant hit was dead. Straight up. He took like a thousand hits of damage. It would have been so glorious. It would have actually been so glorious. That hurts me a little bit, but what can I do? What can I do? That's unfortunate. We are weakened still, which is a big problem. We removed the weakness from the deck because we didn't want to be weakened and we're still getting weakened, so it's slightly frustrating. Keep those. I don't think... I, I honestly... And I don't say this just for the uh, the like excitement factor. I honestly don't think I can beat the Time Lord with the stack I have right now. It's not good enough. It needs it needs more. It needs more right now, and I don't know what it need what it is we need, but we need more from this deck if we have any hope of beating this Time Lord. I did not want that actually. I really didn't want that actually. That was a mistake. Oh, that was painful. Yeah, that's painful. We have too many Nate cards now. This is not good. This is really bad for us. Absolutely atrocious. So an easing top would be glorious right now. An easing top, except it doesn't work into time. I don't know how to beat the time lord. I think we might just die to the time lord. There's a very high chance that we do actually just die to the time lord here. I'll be very disappointed. Obviously, I don't want to die to the time lord if I can avoid it. But I'm looking at this. I'm thinking to myself, I think I might just die to the time lord. Um, uh, this is tricky. I'm gonna pop the violence here, see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is 8 times 8 I can take the 13 times. It won't be enough to kill anyway, so let's just do this. The fossilized will block one of the hits. It's fine. Keep that and that. Fossilized blocks one of the hits, so it's fine, but... How do I beat the Time Lord? I just don't know. I'm, I'm looking into this. I'm thinking to myself, how do... How do I beat this Time Lord? What do I do? And I, and I can't. For the life of me, I can't figure it out. I'm sitting at like, I, I, I feel like I need to think very, very carefully about how I'm going to approach taking out this time one, and nothing is jumping out of me. That could be big. That could be big. Another head. That's a little bit unfortunate, I feel, but as you can see, what, what I said earlier, our deck is just too big now with that ninja scroll. It was really unfortunate to add that to the deck. So an easing top would have been very great, um, along with possibly... There's quite quite a few cards that would have actually been really good for us. I don't know. I just don't see a victory against the Time Lord right now. But that doesn't mean we've lost against the Time Lord. We can still definitely beat the Time Lord. We just need to find the combo that's going to take us over and, and let us give us that opportunity to kill the time lord i think i think that is of the utmost importance for us uh let's go that's kind of annoying me now okay so mr time lord mr time lord mr time lord how do i kill it? well i'm gonna have to steer it potion i'm gonna have to steer it potion on the turn 
that he is gonna get finisher with finisher have had it have having enough cards in it to be able to uh, kill him without buffing him too many times and giving him too many turns dude I don't know I, I think I think I messed up I think I can't actually kill the time lord I don't think I've got it in this deck to, to actually kill the time lord shuriken oh what a lovely 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 card i appreciate that tremendously 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 appreciate that shuriken that shuriken is uh is is just absolutely perfect um i mean i'm just gonna upgrade the adrenaline here because the the alternative isn't good enough. Okay, so this first turn's a big turn for us. Really, really big turn. And I've got a lot of choices to make here. Because we have a lot of turns, to, a lot of stuff to play. And I think this is the turn you go to town. So that's one card. That's two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eight, nine. Wait, one, two, one, two, three, four. I can only play four cards like this, like that, like that, and then like that. I think that's the turn you. That's the play you have to go for. I'm not even kidding. It buffs him. We're not perfect this even close, which means our daily score is gonna be low. Obviously, you went for the incorrect bolt here. This is Shuriken. What is? Let's give me strength. I was like, are you working, Shuriken? I kind of need you to work. Uh, so, turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, one, two, three, we have one more energy, we got the shuriken, I'm gonna play blur flip block and the turn, so we get to play eight, we get to play four cards next turn, that's not a lot of cards, he's healing to half HP, which is fine, he's buffing himself, slash, spot the 100%, that's one, two, uh, three, four cards, it's his next turn, we get to keep this and the defect. Okay, so we get quite a few turns here. We get, we get quite a few turns here. So turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight. Turn 9, turn 10, I uh, misplayed, it's funny, it should be very close to dead, but I misplayed that, that was a big mistake on my side, 100% misplayed it, um, miscalculated my energy somehow, I don't know how I did that exactly, but I did, that's a lot of damage, I took a lot of, he's dead now, I'm pretty sure, but uh, I took a lot of damage, and I didn't need to take damage damage, that's the point, the point is that I didn't need to take damage damage. 32 minute run, very low score, very interesting. I think I went for the wrong approach. Obviously, I uh, went for the finisher deck, which didn't really work. Champion combo, mystery machine. I like uh, shiny light speed, 997 points. Not too good. It's a win, which is great. It's a, it's a daily win for us, but it's going to be around 500, 600, thousand. Not wow, wow, really bad, really bad. Like having flight and sealed deck, you should be able to abuse that completely much better than I did. I'm, I messed that up big time, but that's because I had something really horrible happened to me before this daily run on a Ascension Mode run. I actually won the Ascension Mode, but then I unlocked the new ending of the game, which uh, actually I died to the Elite before the final boss, and I didn't actually beat the Ascension Mode run. So I thought that was a little bit unfair. You know, I beat the Time Mode in the Ascension Mode 8 run. I didn't get the win, so that one hurt me a little bit inside. But for now, thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay Spy Daily Challenge Runs. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button. Our second win for the month. Uh, interesting deck. I think the concept was correct, but the execution was incorrect. I mean, we did do 200 something damage to that guy in one, in one attack with a finisher. I was like 238 damage something with that the finisher attack. Um, on that first turn, so we took like a, more than half of the time loads HP from one turn, you know. If we had played that, if we had the right deck, I think you could potentially one-shot him. Like, we would have needed... 
I'm trying to think like how how we would have I don't even know how we would have done that actually. I don't think you can turn one the time nor the silent. Um well, I mean finish hitting for a lot, that's your option, right? So Phantasmal Killers takes a turn, so we wouldn't even be able to do it on the first turn because you can't get the Phantasmal Killer um, bef on the first turn. So it's actually impossible to. I think it's actually impossible to turn one kill a a boss with the silent. I'm um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm like I'm doing. I'm running the mass of my deck. The only way is if you have concentrate. Yeah, so you got like a bunch of concentrates in the deck and a bunch of acrobatics with uh, card draw. So you have like a ton of card draw. You would need a ton of card draw and you would need a ton of energy creation. So concentrates and card draw. So you need to like concentrate three cards away as you don't want. And then you then you get three energy back and you draw a bunch of cards with that three energy and then you concentrate the cards away and you get three more energy and you just keep doing that until you can either use a skewer one shot or you do attack here, discard two, do attack, draw two, do attack, draw two, do attack, draw two. And you keep doing that by getting three energy from concentrates infinitely until you can just use a finish the combo out and kill them one turn. That's the only way I think you can one turn with the sun. So I guess every hero has a one turn kill built into them, which makes sense. But that's the end of the stadium. We That's enough theorizing for now. We'll rather theorize in the Ascension Man ones that we actually try and win. For now, thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I want to see more of it in the future. I love it when you guys subscribe and leave comments. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time with another one. Let's see if we can keep the streak alive for November.